Welcome, everybody. I'm really excited to be hosting Raising the NASBAR today because we have a very, very special guest. Uh, as you all know, we annually give out an award, the NASBAR Good Neighbor Award. And it's given to somebody who just goes way beyond the call of duty in terms of uh, his or her community service and uh, supporting uh, the public. You know, so it's not just the, the, the realtor industry. It, it goes way beyond that. And uh, I'm thrilled to have Betsy Brent sitting right here, joining me here today. Uh, not only is Betsy a member of ours, a realtor, a broker over at App Properties, uh, in Highland Park, but uh, she also is doing this great work as the chair of the Highland Park Community Foundation. And so we're going to talk all about that for just okay. a, a few minutes. And first of all, though, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, it's no, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I've got goosebumps because <laughs> no, I mean, I, I get the opportunity to meet people who, you know, do good works, right, and do this kind of thing. But uh, you, you really, you know, from from A to Z, from head to toe, you really uh, make an unbelievable contribution. So I want to talk oh, about that. Thank but you. before I get there, because I think everybody would be interested to find out. Uh, okay, obviously, uh, uh, okay, so you weren't born a realtor. We know that. No. So um, should I skip ahead to the realtor part? You do, you've done some I, interesting you stuff can before. Do that. Sure. No, you, but you did some interesting stuff. We were talking earlier. Yeah. You, you've done podcasting. You did some interesting stuff before you became a realtor. Maybe you can tell us about that. Yeah, realty didn't come on a natural path. Mm -hmm. I sort of, probably like most people, uh, I didn't go to school to be a realtor mm -hmm. in the beginning. I went to school to hotel school. I was going to be okay. in the hospitality, hospitality. field, right? right? And I started there, started working at Hyatt Hotels, and then went into consulting and did some of that. And then my path led me, our family kind of had realty in our bones. Mm -hmm. My father, my grandfather, they did commercial real estate. My husband um, develops affordable housing. Oh. And so he's got a lot of real estate in his blood, and I've done things for both of them. I did some um, real estate work for my father early on and doing some apartment rentals. And then I did some condo sales for my husband within his company for a senior development that he did. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's how I got to the real estate part of it later mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. But in between, I did have a little stint for about eight years doing radio, which was lots of fun. Mm -hmm. And that was with my sister. We had a, a radio show called Walking on Air with Betsy and Sal. And, 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 and what was it about? What, what, it, was, what? it was kind of a silly show. It was what women talk about when they go walking. So uh -huh. you think about, you see women uh, walking, or men, anybody mm -hmm. walking down the trail in Highland Park or wherever they are and gesticulating wildly and <laughs> chatting. And you think, what are they talking about? They don't stop. And that's what our show was. It was just yeah. your sort of... Uh, fly on the wall, you know, just listening to that conversation. Gotcha. And we would have different segments. So we had a lot of fun with that. You had a lot of fun with that. You did that. And that something happened, though, that made you decide, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into, and it's residential real estate? or It's residential right? real estate. Mm -hmm. And I work, my partner is Isla Coretti. Mm -hmm. And she's been doing it for, you know, 30 years, 20, 25 plus years. And I decided to work with her. We partner, we've been doing it for about six years now. And I just, I love it. I, I don't know. It's what just something. What got you to think about it in the first place? Well, it kind of combines everything that I'm doing. You know, I have the hospitality background. I love people. I love working with people and, um, you know, doing the dabbling and the family business and just Gosh, it's a good fit. Uh, now, and it's been, you're a Highland Park girl, right? Yeah. You've been, your whole life lived in Highland Park? My whole right? life, pretty much. I, you know, lived in the city a little, a little bit, bit, you know. And but now back out in Highland Park. Back in Highland Park. Okay. And so, you know, we do Highland Park, the whole North Shore, Chicago. Right. And so, yeah, so you, okay, Highland Park uh, at Properties. Mm -hmm. Talked about your partner there. Aside from your real estate work, though, you have this, you uh, bent this urge, whatever you want to call it, to, well, to make a contribution to the community at large. So talk to me about that. Role. So that's that's why we're here. And I really appreciate the opportunity mm -hmm. to talk about it because, mm -hmm. you know, NASBAR Cares is so important and it's so great that you guys do this. And I think everybody, we're so lucky to live in this community where people love to give back and mm -hmm. they love to be part of the community. And, I, you know, I certainly grew up in a family um, of participation and 
doing things and getting involved in philanthropy, whether it's giving back to your school or giving back to a hospital or giving back to a cause that's near and dear to you. But it's always been something I've wanted to do to give back to your hometown and give back to the community where, you know, you nurture your children and you raise your children and your family. And there's need in every community. Mm -hmm. And um, the Highland Park Community Foundation happens to be an organization that is there to kind of fill those needs, to find out what are the needs that aren't being met. And that's what we do. And we give out grants to organizations that are um, helping the community be more vibrant, be more active, and fill those unmet needs. Mm. Uh, for people, there's a lot of food insecurity, even in Highland Park and in Highwood, our sister community. And there are people, seniors, who need help um, getting to their medical mm -hmm. appointments. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, arts that we want to encourage in the community that helps, you know, with education and making people become more alive and more active and bring the community together. So all these things are important and all these things are supported by the Highland Park Community Foundation. So while everybody loves to be involved, it's important to be involved at home and being a realtor where we help people find their homes and community is so important, it's kind of a natural fit, mm -hmm. right? With NASBAR Cares and with the Highland Park Community Foundation. We, we certainly felt that way, right, about NASBAR Cares. Now, right. all those wonderful things that uh, the Highland Park Community Foundation does, tragic thing mm -hmm. that occurred mm -hmm. last summer. Um, that's how we kind of, be, I say, became much more involved with right. each other, right? right. And so yeah. what was Highland Park Community Foundation's role in responding to yeah. the tragedy in, in Highland Park it's last summer? Great question, course? because it was such a horrible event, and it affected not only our community, but our surrounding communities and really the world. It was... Mm -hmm literally the shots heard around the world because the july 4th parade is something that resonates with everyone in the united states we all attend them and it could have been anywhere and it happened to be in highland park and um you know everyone who attended the parade is was in shock or affected in some way and everyone who lived in the community was affected in some way and so as a community foundation um, it's not something we normally do to create this fund. It's outside of, of our normal um, grant giving. But we knew that night that it was something we needed to do. Mm. And with our mayor, Nancy Rotering, who is unbelievable, and our city manager, Gita Newkirk, um, they said, we kind of got together, and they said, would you help us and put this together and be this glue, this conduit for collecting the donations and then figuring out a way to get the money out to the victims and then to the community organizations that will support the greater community mm -hmm. at large. And we said, we'll figure it out. We didn't know how, but we figured it out. Well, I, and I have to say from our perspective, first of all, how proud I was and remain of our members $54,000 contribution. I am blown away. And and when I say we were blown away, but it was really important from our perspective to like say, okay, we have this money. We're not just giving it to some amorphous something right. and right. are not sure exactly how it's going to be utilized. And you gave us a real sense of comfort with that, knowing that we're giving this money to this foundation and that you guys had a plan. You knew exactly what you were going to do with it, really, once you we figured did. it out. We did. And um, first of all, we're so grateful. And, mm -hmm. and I got calls from realtors in my own office and realtors from all the offices that I've worked with along the North Shore, people I've known for years, saying to me, we heard NASBAR is doing this. I'm going to give you money, but I'm going to do it through NASBAR. And they let me know. Excellent. I could list off names of these realtors. It's amazing. And I am so appreciative. It was a matching gift that mm -hmm. you guys did um, to come out to $54,000, which made a huge, huge impact on people. And I'll go through the numbers for you so, you, oh, great. so our, mm -hmm. our people listening can, can hear what a difference it made. But um, I'm glad you felt comfortable about 
us, you know, being the, the people who, the stewards of this money, because we really took it seriously. And unfortunately, we were um, guided by people who've been through this before. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, we weren't the first community to be affected right. by this kind of tragedy. And there's a man named Ken Feinberg, who you may know his name. Mm -hmm. He is the one who um, is kind of famous for the 9-11, mm -hmm. um, figuring out how to allocate funds for that. And he's done the Boston Marathon bombing and other horrible events and figured out sort of the, the way to scope this work. And he sat, sat down with us over Zoom and helped guide our committee. And we formed a committee of nine community mm -hmm. members um, from different parts of our community to put this together, figure out how to best allocate the funds. We ended up raising $5.8 million that went to most of it to the victims themselves who were physically injured or unfortunately who died. Um, and then um, about 10% of it to the organizations mm -hmm. that served the greater community who needed to, you know, help cope with the effects of the shooting. Well, and that's nothing but smart to go and look at others who unfortunately have had the experience, right? right? So right. that was a really good guide for you. Yeah. And, uh, I would say the work never ends, right? So yeah. for unfortunately, I mean, or fortunately, you're there for uh, the the families and for, the, the, again, uh, issues continue to arise. And, and you guys are there for that. What I didn't ask you earlier mm -hmm. was, okay, because you're the chair of this. Yes. Um, I can't imagine that you joined it and then I immediately said, oh, Betsy, good, you're here. You need to be the chair of this. You've worked your way up to that, I assume, right? right. So yes. so tell me a little bit more about your experience. Yeah, in I've idea. been involved with the Highland Park Community Foundation, I think, for more than 10 years, maybe 12 years now. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for a long time. I adore this organization. Mm -hmm. um, it, we've really grown. We've got about 25 board members plus 10 um, younger board members mm -hmm. who have an associate leadership council, we call them, and then an additional six advisory board members. So it's really a large organization, people in our community who truly care and um, give back and are dedicated mm -hmm. to helping those who need it and making our community really um, a great place to live. Yeah, and there's a foundation board, right? I would yeah, say. that's how many our board. people. How many people on it? Yeah, so 25, 25? on the board, okay. right, plus 10 on our younger board, and, and, then, and then our advisory board. Right? Fantastic. Yeah. And because of uh, the great work that you've done as, I mean, we're just so proud that you're a member of ours. That's so nice. And uh, we, uh, and I, Personally, hand paint. No, I didn't personally hand paint this, but I uh, uh, we uh, to honor you uh, are giving you this and and uh, uh, the Good Neighbor Award 2022. We could probably just give it to you every year, right? I no, mean, the work no. There's so many there, people there, who deserve this. So many. Well, you know, and, and I, I appreciate the the sentiment, but it's uh, true. It was so obvious Thank this you. past year uh, with the uh, work that you were doing, helping that community, helping. Uh, everybody there and I you know say w without being trite about it I uh, was at breakfast with friends of ours and watching all of a sudden on the screen and, and it's like Highland Park and seeing the offices you know of realtors of members of I ours know. it was just well say a heartbreaking uh, situation but yeah. you know we can while we have our feelings about it you took action yeah you, you helped us uh, in terms of doing this. You said you had some numbers you wanted to share with us or? Well, I mean, just if people are interested, I mean, how much we gave out, I did mention it was $5.8 million, but I mean, really it's, it came down to 66 claims from individuals who mm -hmm. were affected. And, uh, you know, that's really all I want to say. And it's just that it was a hundred percent of all of the money raised went directly out the door we had zero all all of the expenses were were um covered by the foundation so we didn't commingle those funds at all, all everything raised for this went to that and that we had over seven thousand donors 
for this particular event. And I also wanted to mention that we did sp start a second fund through the Community Foundation um, that's already raised over $300,000 for ongoing needs that are in our community because, you know, people aren't just over it, right? Yeah. You know, it continues to, they continue to be affected um, and to, to need help and our organizations were so depleted by what went on that we're there to help for a long time and will continue to be there. So mm -hmm. that's that's what I wanted. Okay, so now yes. if anybody out there mm -hmm. still wants to, mm -hmm. uh, still, anybody out there wants to yes. make a contribution uh, to the Highland Park Community Foundation, yeah. what do they need to do? Where do they need to they go? They can go online to hpcfil.org. That's Highland Park Community Foundation, Illinois. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Dot org. That's easy. That's easy. Good. Yeah. You said earlier you did the pod. You, you said before we even started yeah. that you kind of you kind of like asking the question. So I'm going to sit back now. You can ask me. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you're good at this. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've like done, done a few of these by That's now. Good. But anyway, is there anything I forgot to ask you? About? No, I think you've covered it. And I just want to again say thank you to everybody involved who. Um, who donated, who helped in any way. I know there are realtors out there who helped victims in so many different ways. Um, you know, there's one in our office who helped one of the shooting victims, you know, find housing. And I know that there's people from just all aspects of our realty community who did so many different things, gathering, doing um, gathering coats and boots and drives and food and whatever it was, people rose up to the occasion. And just, mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone for doing that. Mm -hmm. It's terrific. I'm really proud to be a realtor. Well, and with that, uh, and I'm really proud to be a realtor too, and Good. to work with you guys. Thank and, you. um, thank you so much for taking a little bit more time to be with us here today, but we want to have an opportunity to salute you mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, show you off to all of our members and everybody else who might watch this. So uh, that's a wrap. Uh, a very, very special edition of Raising the NASBAR. Thank you, Betsy Brent, for being Thank here. You, Thanks to you guys for tuning in. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you at one of our amazing events soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.